day number 21 picnic table talk we're on the downhill slope from here with my guest kevin strong andrew Capone from horse racing nation kevin downhill here past day 20. this today and then 19 days after we got four star dave this weekend the alabama after that the travers and and the spin away so we got a, a nice little uh finishing off here for the great saratoga meet we've had so far we have a nice stakes race today race number nine going five and a half furlongs on the turf the galway this is one of the last five and a half furlong turf races for the year for three-year-olds so you're going to see some guys taking shots here um on saratoga morning report we spoke to jonathan thomas he's got two in this race but before we get into that those horses tell me who you like here so halfway through the meet unfortunate fortunate however we don't look at it we have some great racing remaining so I'm excited to get into these cards. We have some fantastic weekends coming up. Let's hope the weather cooperates. It's beautiful out now. We're not getting 95 and humid, so the horses are appreciating that. The handicappers are appreciating that. We're appreciating that. So let's hope that continues. Here in our little feature today on a Thursday, the ninth race, um, I was single to the one. Jose, Poppy Flower, uh, big replay. Watch the replay last time. Jose just missed on this horse. Um, just missed, was making up ground against uh, the Jonathan Thomas here in uh, the seven Empress Tigress. Um, it's a great horse, uh, coming out of Woodbine, uh, coming off of LASIK, I didn't know how it was going to run first time, obviously it ran very well, uh, but it was shortening up bad at the end there, almost got caught, um, you know, these horses are still moving forward, three-year-olds are improving, uh, like Mr. Capone said, it's one of the last five and a half for the year for three-year-olds, um, so we should get their best effort here, um, seven, a little bit too short on the morning line for me, uh, so I'm going to be single to the one there, Jose, Jose, Hasn't been riding great lately. I think he maybe turns that around here. Maybe not getting the best amounts. Uh, but I'm a big believer in Poppy Flower. Um, so I like that. And then I thought the four was interesting. It's a Euro debuting in a five and a half. But it's not quite the same Europeans we're used to debuting over here. Um, we're used to them coming over in routes. This horse uh, has experience at this distance, shorter and longer on both synthetic and turf services over in Europe. So I'm, I'm excited to see how this runs. You know, Javier Castellano, who's been lights out on the turf, really good value rider. Um, so I'm gonna be single to the one here and then I'll have a saver ticket to the four. Talk to you about that layoff, 306 days on that four. Concerned at all, shipping, layoff, only has one work up here at Saratoga. I really like that. Um, they come back and debut in a non graded They're not coming back and debuting in, a, in an OC. They're not coming back and debuting in an allowance. They think highly of this horse enough to put it in a non graded stakes. So you know, they have some belief. You know, Javier's not going to get on a dead mount. So I'm excited to, to see how the floor runs. So let's talk about the two Jonathan Thomas under here. A little bit of a pace scenario. Uh, it could be a little rabbit and uh, not, but they're, you don't see this too often where he's entering both, and both are going to be up near the front end here. Um, let's start with the number three. Ben Bang. Um, he spoke about this horse. He was actually hoping that if we had some moisture in the turf, that this horse would take a little better. And if we scratched off, he was definitely going to keep this horse in. Um, horse coming up from Mammoth, right? One at five and a half last time, 107 on the time form figures. Fits inside this field here. It should be the speed of the speed breaking from the inside. What do you think of the horse? I certainly think Manny's going to go. Um, you know, JT and Manny, they're, there's that little combination that debuts at Naira a lot of the times. He's on a lot of Jonathan Thomas firsters. I just see Manny up on this three is no surprise. I think he goes. I think that's the instruction that Manny is go on the three. Uh, I think we'll see a little, try to get a little stalking trip out of, of JV on this seven here. Empress Tigress. Let's see. I don't know. I didn't love the kick last time. Let's see if it improves. Um, you know, it's been almost a month since it's ran, so they've given it plenty of time off for a three-year-old. So it certainly can get there. Um, if I would, if I were to pick one, it'd be no shock that I would pick the seven. Um, but if you do like the three, I'm not going to talk you off. But you're getting a great price on it, and I think it's going to float up. Come post on, you probably get 13, 14 to one on that three. Um, you know, what bothers me is it's coming off of Lasix. I never like betting three-year-olds coming off of Lasix this late in the year. Um, but it can certainly pop and surprise, especially if it's going to. Naira has a nasty tendency to let horses loose on the lead, even though on paper it looks like there's going to be a lot of speed. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Last horse we're going to touch on here, the number eight horse, Making My Move. Jimmy Kimmel, I ride Ortiz here. Um, this is the works horse of the group. Back to back, July 15th, um, before its previous race, fired a bullet, uh, fired almost a bullet, 48 and, 48 and two, three out of the best 50 that day on the Saratoga turf going four furlongs. Came out, came to that race a uh, little seven days later, won the race. Um, Irad had a nice move. Didn't really even get the break that it wanted for the speed it has in the horse. Had a nice run, 10 to 1 on the morning line. Comes back here, August 5th, fires 47 and 3, 2 out of 59 in the day. I believe the only horse that beat him on that day was Golden Path. Um, so, what are you thinking here? You know, 
Any opportunity for this eight horse here at 10 to one, it's going to be up there in the front, breaking from the outside. Did you take a look at that horse though? I did, I think, you know, the price is right, 10 to one, I thought it was appropriate. You know, uh, David Aragon has been making the IRED mounts pretty short because the public likes to bet IRED blindly. Um, you know, if you like it, you're getting 10 to one, it's coming off of Lasix. Um, big step up in class for me, I don't like to see that. Um, it's coming out of an AOC 45. Uh, he just got up and he did a perfect ride from IRED. I think it's a little bit outclassed here, uh, but if you do like it, again, not going to talk you off prices. I don't do that to folks. Um, you know, off Lasix. I can't use it to New York bred in this race, and it's not a New York bred race, so we'll see what happens. I think 10 to 1 is the right price, so good luck if you're using it. Last question for you here, and you know where I'm going with this. Who are we fading in this race? I think Darren Ann's a big fade. You know, Joel and and Christophe Clement have had a lot of chances with this horse in non great stakes company, and he just can't get it done. Uh, they had a chance here. They've had chances all over the country, and, you know, it's unfortunate because I was here at Saratoga last year when it broke its maiden. I was really high on the horse, and it just it hasn't taken that next step forward. They're trying. It's working great. I just, I'm not a believer. I'm fading. It's not any of my tickets today. Um, if you are using it, good luck, but that's my, that's a big play against me today. You're not going to get 5-1. to one. It's going to take money. It's going to be short. It's probably going to get 3-1 to one at best on the on the board come post time. Um, so if you're using it, good luck, but I just don't think that, I just don't think this horse is, is moving forward and taking the right steps uh, to get there. So I'm actually gonna go three wide in this race. Uh, and just playing the pick five, late pick five today, I pick six, I really couldn't get settled enough. Um, I like to start pick six with a single and I couldn't find one here. Um, pick five, I'm gonna go with one, seven, three. Um, I like your one, I think Hobby Flower is a great opportunity. Uh, it's gonna have to come off the pace a little bit here. It's gonna be caught in a little bit of traffic. But Jose hasn't been riding the best as of late, but this could be an opportunity to turn it around. I'm really interested in Jonathan Thomas having these two horses here, especially his Ben bag. I think he's going to get an inside trip. I think he's going to get to the lead. Um, this is going to be me praying for the line, leaning as far as I can. Um, he's going to get out there, and we saw this yesterday with Manny, and Manny lost it in the last 116. Better horse, I think, today. Speed figure's a little better. Horse takes another step forward. Um, so I'm going to be one, three, seven here, a little bit wider, um, just including that seven, just in case. But that'll be my play here for the Galway Stakes, $150,000, three-year-olds going five and a half furlongs on that melon turf course. Good luck with your bets today.